Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. It's time for an unboxing of something I've been very eager to try out. This is the Mirage Solo from Lenovo, and this is a self-contained Google Daydream VR system. So you don't need a phone, you don't need anything to hook up to it. It is uh, going to connect up to the internet itself and will deliver you uh, a great VR experience using Google Daydream. Uh, now we looked at Google Daydream a few months ago and I will put a link to that review in the video description so you can get a preview. We're gonna have a full review though of this standalone system coming up in a couple of days on my main channel at lon.tv. So let's take a look and see what is inside the box. By the way, this is on loan from Lenovo. Uh, nobody's paying for what you're about to see here, so all the opinions are my own. Uh, so here is the headset itself. Uh, it's a little bit heavy here on the front because it does need all the guts to drive that display, uh, but I think it's a little lighter than it might be if you had a phone hooked up to a Google uh, Daydream system there. Uh, there are cameras on the front here because I believe you can walk around with this and get uh, some degree of room scale experience and it will also uh, let you know when you're about to run into something and uh, these sensors on the front here will uh, keep an eye on the surroundings to get a feel for exactly where you are in space and I think that is a feature that's not on the regular daydream so you're going to pick up some features that are new to this experience so you can see what the uh, inside of it looks like here. And I tried this at CES. I was quite impressed with it. I thought it was decent. Um, I don't think it was as good as the experience I had with my HTC Vive, um, but I will uh, take a look now that the shipping product is available and we'll see how it does. Looks like there's a USB-C port here and we've got an SD card slot here as well. Uh, remember, this is an Android device. So this is a little Android computer powered with a Snapdragon processor. I think it's similar to what you might see in a high-end smartphone. So uh, that is what is powering it. Uh, let's take a look and see what's in this box here. So we have some headphones. We have a charging adapter. I'm sure we need to charge it up here. And we've got a controller. This is the Google Daydream controller. So if you've used Daydream before, this is identical to what you have with that. Feels the same. And what else do we have in here? Uh, there's the charging cable. And that looks to be about it. So I'm going to get this thing powered up and uh, start playing with it. And when I have a good feel for it, I will do a full review uh, that you'll be able to find on my main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.